Hey, what's up guys? Ryan from Tweak My Device. So, you've got your Bionic uh, tweaked out. Maybe you've rooted it, you've done wireless tether, you've removed some bloatware. Uh, maybe you've just gone ahead and done a full install of the Unleashed ROM uh, to get a lot of things done at once. Well, the Unleashed ROM looks good, but maybe it doesn't suit your personal taste. So let's talk about themes. Today I'm going to show you five different themes from three different developers and it's very easy to flash these onto your phone. All of these are compatible with Unleash 1.5, so pay attention to the video, pick out what you like, what you don't like, and uh, hopefully this will help you decide on a theme to flash to your Bionic. So with these themes, they change the appearance of things like the notification slide, you can take the blue off if you don't like that, is the top bar up here. You'll get a, uh, you can get a different battery meter, different colors, different signal meters, Wi-Fi meters, and even in the notification slider, you can get different icons and different looks in this area as well. Theming changes the look of the stock icons. I don't usually keep icons up, but I just put some up for demonstration here. Um, it can have a common color scheme applied to all of the icons, which looks really, really nice. Also, the dock over here will be customized with theming. Another thing that typically looks good once it's themed is the dialer. You can get rid of all of the blue there, and the settings menu can be themed out. All of these different icons can be colorized and be changed all together, and the whole settings menu. And the fifth thing that can be changed is the boot animation. That can be themed to look like the rest of the theme that's on the device. Okay, now that we've applied a theme to our Bionic and myself, uh, I sell these t-shirts on the website by the way, let's check it out. You can see there's, there's highlights of red everywhere up here in the top notification bar, the battery is red, the signal meter. If we swipe down this notification blind, you see that uh, the background is a little different and you have some red down here at the bottom as well. Looks good. The icons on the home screen have been changed. Some of them have been themed. Browser's got some red, uh, the market, messaging. It looks good. Let's check out the dialer. Now I had to take it out of landscape mode for you guys to see the changes here, but it made the dialer a nice black. This looks very clean, very good. Themed out around the box here, all the tabs. Dialer looks great. Well, let's take a look at the settings menus. Now other than the top bar being red, these appear to be the same. No changes there. All right, overall this red ice cream theme by the Muff Stuff looks good. Let's check out his cyan colored theme in just a second. And here we have the cyan flavored ice cream by the Muff Stuff. This gives you icons and battery themed up here in the top bar. If we swipe down the notification bar, you'll see on my Gmail notification, the cancel button is now themed to that cyan color. Some of the icons here, like the camera, your contacts, browser, these have been themed. The dialer has also been themed. That dialer looks good, looks good. And, when you go to bring up a menu, you have a nice colored highlight around every menu box that matches the theme also. Looks good. Let's check out the boot animation. And here's the themed boot animation. Matches everything else and looks great.
here's the great looking boot animation that the Muff stuff put into this TouchWiz theme. This is fantastic. And here's a nice looking lock screen that he's included with his TouchWiz theme. And here we have the TouchWiz theme by developer The Muff Stuff. This theme looks very nice. You have your battery icon up here that's themed. Uh, there's no percentage in it. You do have themed signal icons on the top. The notification slider looks good. It's all gray and color themed out. Um, some of the icons changed. The camera, uh, the dialer went back to the default dialer icon. Messaging. Market is only red because I had a previously installed red theme. Browser and contacts. Now if we go in here to look at the dialer, the dialer looks great. I like this send button staying green personally. Uh, this looks good with these gray buttons kind of popping out at you. Very nicely done. Dialer looks really good. And when you open up a menu, all of your menus are themed with a blue bar at the top. If we go in to look at our settings, you'll see that all of our settings, menus, and icons have been themed out. Nice color icons. This adds a lot to the user experience. Very nicely done. So that's the Touch Wiz theme. Let's check out the next theme, A Touch of Ginger. Now let's check out the Touch of Ginger theme by developer Life Begin Friday. This theme is very clean and professional looking. It has percentages in the battery icon, uh, 1%. As you can see here, our signal icons are a little different. Um, I love this. This looks really nice. He used like a uh, semi-transparent marble kind of look here. Uh, looks great with all the grays. Uh, a little smoked right in here. You can still see the, the screen behind you. This looks great. Um, some of the icons have changed. Calendar's changed. That's back to the original contacts. Let's take a look in the dialer. Now this dialer actually shows up correctly in landscape. This is very, very nice. Um, if that's a thing that's important to you, you will notice, man, this just looks fantastic. Just this black and white. It really pops. It's clean. It gets the job done. I love this. Nicely, nicely done. And let's check out our settings menu. Okay, pretty standard stuff there. And we've got a, once again, a nice clean, professional looking uh, gray, black, and white. Looks really good. That's the Touch of Ginger. Now the Touch of Ginger theme, just like uh, the cyan flavored ice cream theme, will work on both stock Deodex and Unleashed ROMs. You just have to download the appropriate zip file for either one. All right, coming up next, the retro theme. Let's check it out. This will be our final one. Now the final theme I want to show you is the retro theme by developer Macintosh. This is a very nice looking theme because of the colored icons up here. Um, we still don't have percentages in the battery. If we swipe down the notification blind, we have Bionic here. We have a smoked uh, looking uh, slider right here. Looks very nice. Um, as we check out the icons, we've got a different camera icon, messaging, browser, calendar, contacts. Those all look great. And as we go into the dialer, I'm going to flip this around portrait for you. Uh, the dialer looks very nice. Black and white up here. We've got some hints of gray here and a nice uh, red colored send button down there at the bottom. If we take a look at the menus, these are slightly different and as we look into the settings you'll see that that's themed out with some colored icons. Very nice, very nicely done. And when you select a uh, to add something to the home screen or if you have a menu button that pops up you'll have a nice green surround and a uh, good looking themed out menu.
To apply a theme, you must be rooted and you must have Bionic Bootstrap installed so that you can get into Clockwork Mod Recovery. That's how you flash the theme to your device. I'll show you two themes that can be applied to a stock Deodex ROM and those themes are the ice cream themes by developer The Muff Stuff. There's a cyan color that can be applied to a stock Deodex ROM and the Unleashed ROM. Uh, and you can also try the Touch of Ginger theme by developer Life Begins Friday. That theme can be applied to both stock Deodex and Unleashed ROMs. All of the other themes I'm going to show you must be applied to the Unleashed ROM series. Now that you've plugged in your Bionic and you've selected USB mass storage, you're going to have two windows that pop up. Close the Moto G, that's your internal storage. You want the removable disk. So you'll place these onto the main directory of your storage card. Don't put them in any folders. And this is where I have my themes saved, where I downloaded them to. I'm just going to drag and select all of these. Right click, copy. Then you can go over here and left click to highlight that top bar of your storage card. Then once you've selected that window, hit Control V. And all of your themes will be copied right over. Since I'm transferring five themes to show you guys, this is going to take just a minute or so. All right, so now all of our themes are there. Let's close this and click on your storage icon to eject your phone. So this part of the video I'm going to show you how to install the theme. Um, this basically applies for all of these themes. Just use the same process to install. Tap to get into Bootstrap. Bootstrap Recovery. And then we're going to reboot recovery. Okay, so once we're in recovery, remember we navigate with volume up and down and select with the power. So go here to install zip from SD card. Choose zip to install. And the first one we're going to install is the red theme. This is by the Muff Stuff. All right, and it's finished. Select Go Back and Reboot System Now. So I hope you've enjoyed the video, guys. I hope it's uh, helped you to make a decision on which theme you want to apply to your Bionic, whether you have a uh, custom ROM or whether you're just running a stock ROM. You've seen two themes today that can be applied to the stock Deodex ROM and five themes that can be applied to the Unleashed version 1.5. Take care guys, happy theming, and subscribe to Tweak My Device on YouTube.